Hi, in this video I'll show you how to sort variables in SPSS and I'll also show you how to unsort them or revert back to original. Uh, here is a, a fake set of data which I um, created uh, for this video. On the left hand side you can see the uh, record numbers of, of the patients. There are 100 patients in here. Um, before moving on uh, to show you how you can sort them based on ascending or descending order, I must remind you that once you have sorted these variables, you cannot unsort them. This is not um, an action that you can do in SPSS because once once it's sorted, you cannot just click um, undo and, and it, it just unsorts everything. It's not possible. So make sure to save your data before moving on to doing it. So, uh, But there is actually one um, workaround of this issue uh, which I'm showing you right now. So. What you need to do is to create a new variable um, called ID or anything like that. And uh, what you are going to do is basically assign every um, every entry in here, you need to assign um, an ID number to it. So what it will allow you to do um, is that, um, let me show you actually in here, let me put, couple of um, entries in here. What it actually lets you do is if you have sorted these variables at a time and you want to unsort it, you, you cannot just unsort this, but you can go back and sort this ID variable by descending or ascending under order and that way um, your data set will revert back to original. Um, but what if you have, let's say, 1,000, 2,000, 5,000 entries, you cannot just go back and, and put ID numbers for all of them, that, that takes so, so much time. What can you do that way? So let me actually delete this um, um, ID variable that I created and I'll show you how the, the easier way uh, you can um, carry that out. Okay, so let's go to transform, compute variable, and then um, give this one a name like ID and then you have to go to function group all and, bit and choose this function. Double click on it and then OK. So what it does is that SPSS actually created an ID variable for you as you can see in here. And move that back to here and also you can change the uh, decimal places to 1 so that it's easier for you. You can see that uh, SPSS automatically uh, created this variable for you. And now you can move on to um, sort your other variables in here without worrying to, to um, lose the places of your entries. Let's say that you want to sort this by descending order. You can see that everything has just changed in here, but you can revert back to your original data set by sorting ascending. And you can see you're now um, you have uh, got your original data set in here. And that's it. If you like the video, please leave a like and subscribe for more SPSS and research related videos. Thank you.